Apple Mai. Hello, good evening. Profe, una pregunta. Yes, tell me. Fíjese de que yo ya completé todas las secciones y ya uh -huh. pasé más de lo, más, pasé más ya del 80%, pero fíjese que no puedo reclamar mi, mi certificado. Ok, so in that case, please try to send me to my, well, to, to my WhatsApp number, your full name, your email address, and I will try to... Um, ask for that information in the, uh, with the human resources department, okay? Sí, por favor, okay. para poder tener esa información y enviarla el día de ahora, puesto que ahora es nuestra última clase, okay? Okay, thank you. All right. Hi, teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, guys, hello. Uh, once again, it's a pleasure for me to be here with you. And well, today is actually our last class. So we get, we got at the end of this journey, right? Like, like that we started like on the third, empezamos el tres, and then we finished. Today is going to be our last class. So I hope you, well, you learn i hope you understood a lot of things that you i mean you have like different things that you didn't know probably you're going to well now you have that information in your minds and well um uh well that's actually a little bit sad because you know uh everyone get used to that siempre nos acostumbramos como los alumnos and then we have to say goodbye right but that's, that's how it is. So uh, for today, guys, we are going to see like our last topic. And I, uh, I will also will try to um, resolve any doubt or alguna cosa, algún tema que todavía esté ahí en el limbo para ustedes. We are going to try to do that today, okay? So like a reinforcement for you to be ready to go to module number two. So, uh, oh. yes. Is there any question, Elizabeth? No? Eh, eh, era una broma, como dijo, de que alguna pregunta, que si teníamos algún tema en el limbo, entonces todo, 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 todo. Ah, todo. okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's start again. Vamos a empezar de nuevo, module one. No. <laughs> no. Um, well, it's really nice to see you guys. Actually, we started... Iniciamos como 25, right? Something like that. And now we're just 10. But I mean, uh, it, that's, that's how it is, okay? So I do appreciate that you are here, guys. It's, that's part of your commitment. And well, so we are going to start with today's class. And today we're going to have just more about vocabulary, okay? So it's going to be part of the vocabulary and also some practices that are not going to be that difficult, right? But um, it's very important for you to practice this, uh, this part, okay? So we're going to have that. And then, as I said at the beginning, we will have like some of, if you have any doubt, or if it's there is something that you do not remember any topic or something like that, you feel free to ask. And uh, I'm going to be here to resolve any doubt, something that you do not remember, I'm going to be here to help you out, okay? So let's start with that. And uh, let me share the presentation with you. All right, so here we have, oh my God. Okay, let me see, all right, there we go. So um, as you can see, we have, um, we have something related to daily activities. 
daily activities or routines, routinas diarias, okay? Or the actividades diarias. So as I said, today is going to be more of vocabulary and pronunciation. And um, at the end, we're going to have just like kind of a practice, okay? So I will need any volunteer to help me reading this part. Hi, teacher. Yo, ah, ya me ganó. <laughs> no. Okay. Lo tú. Okay. Está bien, no hay problema. Okay, Nidia, go ahead. Thank you so much, Luis. Uh, what? Okay, buenas noches. Good night. Okay, good what, night. What is a uh, ro routine? Routine. Uh, or oh, routine, perdón. Mm -hmm. A routine is the usual series of things that you do at a particular time. A routine is also the practice of regular doing things in, things in a fixed order. Okay, very good. So as you can see there, guys, our routine, let's say it is what we do every single day. Yes, or the activities that we do every single day, cuando nos levantamos, when we wake up, then when we, um, when we go to take a shower, when we get dressed, and all, all the, of the things that you do every single day. Todo lo que hace desde que se levanta, right? All the things you brush your teeth, se lava los dientes, then you wash your, your face. Si no se va a bañar, verdad? You wash your face. And uh, if not, you take a shower, se baña, right? Más con esto frío, verdad? It's a little bit difficult to take a shower, but not impossible, pero no impossible, all right? So let's move on. And here we have, guys, a list. There we have a list. So we are going to go one by one. Vamos a ir una por una. First of all, making the pronunciation, and obviously I will give you the meaning. Si el significado de cada uno. So let's start with the with the part that we have on the on the left. Empecemos con la parte de la izquierda. Well, for me, para mí es la izquierda, but I really don't know if para ustedes es la derecha. But the right, probably is the right for you. I really don't know. Okay, but let's start. So the first part, it says, do the laundry. Do the laundry. That means, Lavar, sí, o hacer la lavandería. Yes, do the laundry. We have number two, hang the clothes. Hang the clothes. What do you, do you have any idea of what is the meaning of that? Doblar la ropa. No. no. You're something there. <laughs> It's colgar la ropa. Colgar. So number three, we have iron the clothes. Iron the clothes. That is... Planchar la, planchar. Planchar la ropa. Excellent. Sabía que las mujeres lo iban a saber, ¿verdad? All right. Some of the activities that you do like every single day. All right. So let's move on. Make the bed. Make the bed. Arreglar la cama o ordenar la cama. Exactly. Okay. So go to bed. Irse no a la a cama. Ganar ella. Yeah, you see? <laughs> see. All right. So then wake up. Do you know what wake up means? Levantarse. All right. Levantarse. Brush the teeth. Uh, cepillarse los dientes. O lavarse los dientes. All right, go or drive to work. Drive. Yes. Drive to work. Get home. Get home. That means llegar a la casa. Mm -hmm. Yes, llegar a la casa. So let's move on. Take a bath. Uh, tomar take un a baño. bath, right? Tomar un baño o bañarse. All right. Brush your hair. It's like. Lavar el cabello. Ah, so el cabello. Peinarse, mm -hmm. brush your hair, peinar el cabello o cepillarlo. All right, 
surf the net. Surf the net. That's something that we do. Es eh? lo que hacemos in our phones. In the phone, you surf on the internet. Navegar, you know? en el, en la Navegar en el internet. All right? Play with friends. Jugar con los amigos. Excellent. That's very simple. So, right now, let's go. Uh, Nidia, you will help me with the first three. Uh, Luis, you will help me with the next one. Three as well. Carla Flores, you will help me with the following ones. Three, once again. We have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So Alba, you will help me with another three. And we are going to finish by Juan Fernando, the last four. Okay, so let's I'm gonna start. say the last four? Yes, the last four. Okay, no problem. All right, let's go. Okay, do the laundry, hang the clothes, iron, iron the clothes, make to bed. Go, go to bed, mm -hmm. wake up, brush the teeth. The teeth. The la, teeth. La TH, ya sabemos Como que en ese zeta. caso suena feta. Teeth. 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 Okay. Let's Try go. to work. Okay. Get home. Okay. Take a bath. Take a bath. Okay. Take oh, a bath. All right. Very good. So, Juan Fernando, there were not actually four, there were just three. Uh, sorry. So the last three, because I didn't take into account that one. So just three. Okay, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, it's your, it's your turn. It's the, oh, the first list, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, brush your hair, surf the net, play with friends. Okay, very good. So guys, what I wanted to also tell you, probably right now it's going to be a little bit like um, difficult, but if you learn this since the beginning, si aprendemos eso desde el inicio, um, it's not going to be that complicated for you probably in the future. This one right here, esta que estoy señalando acá, we say go to bed, go to bed. Uh, la decimos así cuando estamos como aprendiendo. But when an American or someone is, is, is speaking fluently, fluidamente, they say go to. Yes, eh, hacen una unión de go and to and say go to bed. Yes, go to. Go to bed. That's, it sounds like, es como un, para hacer un poco más rápido, un poco de fluidez. And, but if you feel comfortable, si se sienten bien a este punto diciendo, go to bed, it's okay. But if you can practice since, since <clears throat> this moment saying, go to bed, that is going to help you as well with your pronunciation, okay? So, uh, let's... Go to bed. Go to bed. Oh, for example, when you finish the class, you go to bed. Do you have any idea? Ir a la cama, como acostarse. Se va, se va para la cama, como que usted se va, pero acostarse, obviamente, right? You go to bed, se va a la cama. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's move on to list number two or to part number two. We have go to school or we can say go to school as well. Go to school or... Go to, go to, go to school or go to school. Both of them, okay? Si se siente bien diciendo go to school, because you consider that that's, si considera que diciendo go to se va a equivocar y más que y no le van a entender, so say it, tranquilo, right? Relax, go to school. Because that's understandable as well. So um, we got go shopping, ir de compras, exercise, 
ejercitarse. Wash the car. Wash the car. Lavar el carro, right? Get dressed. Get dressed. Las dos palabras juntas significan vestirse. Get dressed. Get dressed, okay? Go out with a friend. Go out with a friend. Salir con un amigo, ¿sí? Take pictures. Take pictures. Tomar fotografías. Play the guitar. Play the guitar. Tocar la guitarra. So, water the plant. Water the plant. Regar las plantas. Regar las plantas, right. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Es salir Tomar. a caminar. O uh, sentido más literal, ir por una caminata. ¿sí? Mm -hmm. Salir a caminar. That's pretty much the same thing. Work. Creo que esta todos los conocemos, ¿verdad? Porque todos los días hay que ir al work. Ok. Mm -hmm. So, have breakfast. That's what we have in the morning. Have breakfast. Tomar el desayuno. Tomar el desayuno. Hacer el desayuno. Tener el desayuno. Tener desayuno. Right? And have lunch. Tener el almuerzo. Tener el almuerzo. Very good. So now I will need Adrian. Adrian, you will help me with three. The primera tres. Then we go with Catherine. Another three. Then we go with uh, Elizabeth. We got another three. And then we go with Maricela, the last ones. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Go go to school. Mm -hmm. Go shopping. Mm -hmm. Exercise. Exercise. Very good. Another three. Who's the next one? Wash the car. Get dressed. Mm -hmm. Go cut out with a friend. Very good. Another person. Take a picture, play the guitar. 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 Mm -hmm. and water the plant. Water the plants. And the last one, Maricel. Go for a walk, mm -hmm. work, have breakfast, have lunch. Very good. So is there any questions so far with these, uh, with these parts of the, or list of the vocabulary? Teacher. Yes. Cuando estábamos estudiando, bueno, yo estudié hace mucho tiempo bachillerato. Mm -hmm. yes. Recuerdo que este, cuando entraba un profesor nos decían stand up. Oh, stand up. Uh -huh. este, significa levantarse. Yeah. If I say everybody stand up, si tengo, si yo digo everybody, todos levántense o párense. Everybody okay. stand up. Mm -hmm. y, Web up. Wake creo up. Que, uh -huh. Creo que hay una diferencia, si no me equivoco, ¿verdad, teacher? Que stand up es pararse, ponerse de pie. Y Exacto. levantarse es levantarse de, después Del, de haber dormido. Exacto. De la cama. Uh -huh. Yes, levantarse correcto, correcto. efectivamente de la cama. Es la acción directa de levantarse solo de la cama. ¿Sí? That's where we say uh, wake up. Pero si tú quieres decirle a alguien que se levante de un lugar, es decir, está, está sentado en una silla, en una acera, o, I don't know, en like, in a bench, en un sillón, o something like that, en a sofa, you can say, can you please stand up? ¿Puedes pararte? Can you please stand up? Yes, that's going to be the difference. Esa es la diferencia that we have between day two. Okay. All Thanks. right. All right. Any other questions so far? Eh, sí, yo tengo una pregunta. Yes. Bueno, aquí, bueno, en varias dice go to bed, uh -huh. en otras dice drive to work, right? y uh -huh. aquí dice go to school, y hay una, y aquí dice, ¿por qué no dice go to shopping? Porque solo dice go shopping. Go shopping, it says like that, porque eh, tenemos el verbo, en ese caso, son dos verbos unidos, ¿sí? Shop. También puede utilizarse o es un sinónimo del verbo comprar, que es buy. ¿Sí? 
B, B, U, Y, ¿sí? Que ese es el verbo comprar. Pero si yo digo shop, lo puedo utilizar como un verbo también refiriéndome a que yo voy a... Cuando le decimos váyase de shopping, es como que vayamos a un supermercado. No supermercado, es como metrocentro, galerías, multiplaza. Un centro comercial. Centro comercial. So we go shopping, ¿sí? Porque son... Eh, como tiendas dentro de un centro comercial Ok, we say go shopping Debido a cosas gramaticales No podemos tener dos verbos en su forma base A no ser que lo tengamos con la preposición to En ese caso eh, está actuando como un gerundio Entonces al traducirse y unirse las dos palabras Significan ir de compras That's, eh, eso lo vamos a ver como un poquito más adelante, pero desde, desde ahorita es bueno que ustedes lo sepan. So, that's a very good question. Ok. Teacher, una, teacher. teacher, una pregunta. Yes, go ahead. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia go for a walk? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? ¿Cómo se no, dice? No decimos walk, la letra L no se pronuncia y la letra A no se dice como A, sino que O. Solo decimos walk, walk, ¿sí? W-O-K, okay. así, así sería la pronunciación, go for a walk. Ok. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. So, any other questions so far? If there is no question, so I'm going to move on to the, to the next, uh, to the next press slide. Here we have, guys, another list. Tenemos acá otra lista. And uh, those are, like, not difficult, actually. For example, we have uh, this part, number one. It says, have dinner. Es como tener la cena. Make dinner es hacer la cena. Right? So, fold the laundry. Es así es, doblar la ropa, ¿verdad? Fold the laundry. Surf the net, aquí la tenemos repetida, but we already know what that is. Feed, feed the dog. Sí, alimentar al perro. Feed the dog. Take a taxi, tomar un taxi. Wait for the bus. Wait for the bus, esperar el bus. Paint the picture. Pintar una fotografía or something like that, okay? This one right here, esta de acá, we have two differences. Tenemos diferencias. In the U.S., we say take a break, ¿sí? Es como descansar, relajarse, ¿sí? Tomar un descanso, take a break. But in the U.K. or in the United Kingdom, with a British accent, they say have a break yes okay so uh take into consideration that in the united states you are going to say take a break or even si alguna vez eh, logran viajar o conocen a alguien que venga de uk también pueden decir take a break y ellos van a poder entender eh, pero la forma en la que ellos lo dicen es have a break okay So, uh, even in Spanish, just like Spanish, como español, ¿verdad? En unas partes del país, eh, al guacal le dicen de una forma y en otras le dicen al guacal de otra forma, right? Es el, la misma cosa, pero en diferentes partes del país le decimos de diferente manera. That happens the same in English. So, that's why we have uh, those differentiations or those differences. So, let's go to part number two. We have uh, walk the dog, walk the dog, caminar el perro, take out the rubbish, take out the rubbish, sacar la basura, swap the floor, swap the floor. Do you know what that is? Barrer el piso. Barrer el piso. Rake the leaves. Rake the leaves. Es como podar, creo que le decimos. I think that we say de podar las, las ramas o las hojas of a tree. 
podar mm -hmm. o apodar. I really don't know how we say it, but I think podar that... Los árboles, o podar las ramas de los árboles. Podar, I think that that's the, that's the word. Podar la, las ramas, all right? Rake the leaves. So read the news, leer las noticias, read the news, clean the window, limpiar la ventana, cut the grass, cut the grass, cortar la grama, do the dishes, lavar los platos, and paint the house, pintar la casa. So let's see. Um, I was I was still missing. Teresita, can you please help me with the first three? Then we go to Ulises. Are you there, Ulises? Well, he's yes, not. Coach. Okay. Have, a din have dinner, mm -hmm. make dinner, mm -hmm. fold the laundry. Fold the laundry. Ulises, go ahead. Three. Serve the need, mm -hmm. feed the dog. Take a taxi. Take, Take a it. taxi. Take a taxi. Very good. And now we go with Omar. The last three. Uh, what teacher? These three. This one, this one, and this one. Okay. Why to um, wait for the bus? Wait for the bus. Paint the picture. Paint the picture. How a uh, break. Mm -hmm. Take a uh, break. Break. Very good. Now let's go with Karen Rivas. These three, please. Karen, are you there? Karen? Well, I think she's not there. She's not there actually. Okay, let's see. Uh, Nidia, help me with these three. Okay. Uh, take out the rubbish. Mm -hmm. oh, sweep the floor. Sweep the floor. Sweep the floor. Uh, rake the leaves. Okay, there. Thank you so much. Alba. Hola. Uh, Read the news, mm -hmm. clean the window, okay. cut, uh, cut the grass. Cut the grass, very cut, good. Cut. And now, uh, Luis, help me with the last two. Do the dishes mm -hmm. and paint the house. Paint. 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 paint, paint the house, all right. Is there any question regarding to this list? Ah, uh, perdón, ¿qué fue lo, cómo dijo que era do the dishes? Do the dishes es lavar los trastes o ah, eh, okay. ajá, lavar los trastes. Mm -hmm. All right, is there any other question so far? No. No questions, all right. If there's no questions, guys, we have here some examples. Tenemos... Ejemplos de cómo o frases en las que se pueden utilizar the vocabulary that we just saw, el vocabulario que acabamos de ver. For example, let me see. Um, Ulises, go ahead and help me with the first one, please. Well, I think he's okay. The coach. Yes, help me with the first one. I often do the laundry of this on Saturday morning. I often do the laundry on Saturday morning. Yes. There we have an example of how to use do the laundry. See? Como utilizar eso, do the laundry. I often, yo muy a menudo, Lavo la ropa on Saturday morning. Los sábados en la mañana, okay? Juan Fernando, let's go and help me with number two, please. You should have the clothes when the sun shines. Okay, very good. You should have the clothes when the sun shines. Deberías tender la ropa cuando el sol 
dia, right? When the sun shines, all right. So those are some examples or, or um, using uh, some of the uh, expressions that we saw. We have another one right here. Any volunteer that would like to help me? Hi, right, teacher. Okay, Luis, go ahead. My mom loves ironing the clothes. My mom loves ironing the clothes. Mi mamá ama planchar la ropa. Okay. Probably some of you are going to say no, but in that case, en el ejemplo, la mamá ama, ¿verdad? Planchar la ropa. So, no, right, Nidia? It's complicated, right? Okay. So, let's see. Uh, for number two, I will need a volunteer. Yeah. Okay, Nidia, go ahead. Okay. Make to bed. Is we are told to make to bed, no, to make to bed mm -hmm. after getting up. Okay, it says we are taught to make the bed after getting up. Somos o es, somos enseñados a hacer la cama después de despertarnos. ¿Sí? After getting up. All right. So, Let's move on. Another volunteer for number one. Yeah. Yes. Teresita, is that you? Go to bed late will have bad effect to our health. Okay, you see, irse tarde a la cama afectará, eh, will have a bad effect, tendrá un mal Efecto en nuestra salud. Okay. So let's go with number two. Any other volunteer? Sí, teacher. Okay, Alba. Alba. Go ahead, Alba. Thank you. I often wake up at, at six o'clock in the morning. Very good. Muy a menudo me levanto a las seis de la mañana en la mañana. Six, I'm sorry, al seis de la mañana. Yes, en punto. All right. So any other volunteer, guys? Today is the, the last class, guys. Sí, la última. Ya mañana ya no van a estar aquí. So try to do it. Practice. Anyone? Okay. Elizabeth, is that you? Uh, the doctor, the uh -huh. doctor uh -huh. uh, advise you to brush the, the teeth mm -hmm. uh, twice a day. Okay, it says the doctors advise us to brush the teeth twice a day. Los doctores nos aconsejan cepillarnos los dientes dos veces al día, twice a day. All right, what about number two? Any other volunteer? Me. Okay, go ahead, Juan. My father sometimes drives to work in his setup. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. My father sometimes drives to work instead of taking a bus. Okay, very good. Mi padre. En ocasiones conduce al trabajo en vez de, instead of, tomar un bus. All right. So here we have some examples, guys, where we can use this vocabulary, donde lo podemos aplicar a cosas de la vida diaria, right? So um, here we have some other ones. Any other volunteer that would like to help me with number one? Hi, teacher. Okay, Adrian, thank you so much. It's time to get mm -hmm. home. It's time to get home. Es tiempo de llegar a casa, right? Thank you so much. The number two, any other person that would like to help me with that? You know what? Let me, let me select someone. Maricela, please, go ahead. Take a bath. Mm -hmm. When exactly, when did you last take a bath? 
¿Cuándo exactamente o cuándo tomó su último baño? ¿Cuándo se bañó por última vez? ¿verdad? That's a good question. All right. So, these ones, guys, are part of the, of the expressions that we can use in our daily basis. These expressions are going to help us to communicate or to, if someone tells you, si alguien le pregunta, um, what were you doing yesterday? ¿Qué hiciste ayer, right? ¿O qué estabas haciendo ayer? So now you have those expressions. Ya tienen esas expressions, vocabulary, that you can use to talk with someone in English, okay? So those expressions are going to help you to communicate better with someone. So we have the last three, and for those, para esas, I will need Carla Flores, uh, Catherine Reyes, and Teresita. Go ahead. Okay, brush your hair. Mm -hmm. Do not brush your hair with too much force. Okay, no te cepilles el cabello, cepilles con, el cabello mucha fuerza. Con, fue con mucha fuerza. All right, very good. Thank you so much. Let's go, uh, Catherine. Serve the net. The net. net. She surfed the net looking for ways to study. To study, very good. It says, él navegó en el internet buscando formas de estudiar. Looking for ways to study, all right? And the last one, Teresita, thank you so much. One day while playing with my friends, mm -hmm. I accidentally broke a window in a store near our home. Creo que esta es la historia de alguno de nosotros, ¿verdad? When we were child, cuando estábamos pequeños, it says, un día mientras jugaba con mis amigos, accidentalmente quebré la ventana mm -hmm. de una tienda cerca de nuestra casa. Okay? That happens to some of us in the, in, the, in the past. So, is there any question, guys? Something that you would like me to explain to you or uh, any question that you might have at this moment? ¿Alguna pregunta que tengamos hasta el momento? Doubt, dudas. No? No, guys? No questions? No, teacher. All right. Okay, so um, if there is no questions, guys, we are going to go to the part of the practice because we will still have the practice. It's going to be not complicated, okay? So please, you know what to do. Take the screenshot, take the, the photos or something like that because we are going to be working on that. And let me know when you're done so I can move to the next one. Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Are we done? Okay. okay. So after this, después de esto, I need everyone. Necesito que todos escriban dos ejemplos de ustedes mismos o de cualquier cosa en su vida diaria en la que puedan utilizar the vocabulary you learned today at the end of these two, al final de esos dos, okay? Please. So let's go and let's try to join your groups. Just let me see. Okay, let's go.
Hello, Karen. Are you having problems trying to connect with, uh, with your group? Hello? Karen, hello, hello, are you there? Uh, is, la primera is wake up, ¿verdad? W wake up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wake up. Mm -hmm. Wash my, my face, my face. <laughs> El problema que yo tengo es que no puedo, no, no recuerdo muy bien cómo se escriben las, las palabras. Mm -hmm. Wake up. Solo nosotras dos estamos. No, está también Gloria. Eh. Esa era la primera, ¿verdad? Sí, 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 esa es. Yeah, yeah. Literal A sería <ríe> wake up. Sí. Brush, brush my teeth, la segunda. Ok. okay. Okay, and la tercera, have a bath. Mm. Tomar una ducha, tomar un baño. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. La sería my Sí. Ajá, de, de lavar los dientes, ¿verdad? Ajá, los, estoy cepillando los dientes o, o algo así. Vea. Brush. Eh. My teeth. Brush. Y la otra sería tomar no, el autobús o, o, o. No veo o sea, la de. Ah. No veo cómo se escribe la de lavarse los dientes. Brush, así como la. Brush. B-R-U-S-H. Brush. Así, brush. Brush my oh, teeth. Brush my hair. My eye. Ajá. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Vaya, la otra sería. Wait for the bus. ¿Vea? Wait. Ajá. No, quiero ver. ¿Cómo no? Es ¿Está tomando el autobús? Ah, pues Ajá. take. No, wait. Wait for the bus.
Eh, Ahora vamos a subir la otra galería. Creo que sería que Erin te vas a subir al bus. Getting. Pero no sé, no sé si está el coach ahí. A ver si nos escucha. Yes, I'm listening to you. Coach, ¿cómo sería la, la literal G? Letter G. Ajá. Ajá. Take. Take ah, tomar. the bus. Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok. ¿Cómo digo? Take the bus or wait for the bus. The two okay. options are correct. Ok. Gracias, profe. Vamos con la otra. Sí.
You're finished already? Eh, sí, teacher, una pregunta. Mm -hmm. ¿A dónde eh, lo íbamos a subir? ¿Al grupo o al chat? No, that was going to be just the examples. Solo los ejemplos are the ones that we were going to send through the, the WhatsApp group. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Then... So what happened here? You're laughing. All right, we're just going to wait for the other ones to connect. Okay, we still have another group that hasn't finished yet probably. And I don't know what happened with Gloria, Mercedes and Alba and Elizabeth. I saw that she was working with you, wasn't she? No? Oh, okay. Now she's... No. She was not? Si terminamos. No. Uh, no, I just saw that uh, the one of you were, was stuck, que estaba todavía atrapada en el grupo y ustedes todavía ya estaban acá, so I was just asking you that. All no. right, so, um, well, guys, is there any question regarding to any of the topics, like all the topics that we saw during this module? Do you have any question or something that you would like to reinforce? Algo que les gustaría verificar before we go, like before we complete this hour? Like, do you have any? Well, I was going to ask you this question, guys. Todos los que están acá ya tienen su diploma. Todos. Yo no. Alba. no. Yo no, pero me dijeron hoy en la tarde o en la mañana, recuerdo que me la iban a enviar a mi correo. Yo yes. no, profe. No. Yo no lo tengo, profe. Oh, you still? Oh, yes. I remember that you told me. Uh, Alba, is there a problem with you? ¿Hay algún problema? Hola, hola. Sí, eh, igual, este, eh, consulté por qué no se me había enviado el, el diploma y me dijeron de que sí, al correo, que, que todavía no, no estaba, pero más nada. Okay, perfect. So what about the other ones? ¿Qué hay de los demás? Everyone got the, the certificate already? So, Adrián. Profe. Uh -huh. Yes, Yes. ¿Es necesario que le mande el correo o no? Yes, because yo envío esa información a Recursos Humanos y ellos, eh, si te dicen que te lo van a enviar por correo, necesitan tener tu correo. Ah, pues se lo voy a mandar. Uh -huh. So, your full name, nombre completo, correo, so I can, yo puedo crear un caso y enviar tu información after your class. Okay, thank you. So anyone Nico, else? Yo terminé con el 95, parece, pero todavía no, no me han dicho nada. Oh, uh, but eh, cuando terminas, ahí te aparece ver certificado, so. Ah, le tengo que dar ahí. Sí, donde dice obtener, I really don't know. No sé qué es lo que en realidad dice si obtener ver o ver certificado. Okay. Ah, ok, ver certificado. So, si ya te parece, another thing, guys, otra cosa very important, verificar que su nombre esté bien escrito. Sí, like uh, accents, como acentos, letters, anything. Sí, verificar que las fechas también estén bien, because if you have problems with that, Si tienen problemas con eso, todo tiene que estar bien, ¿ok? So, before today. So, I don't eh, know if... Uh -huh. Teacher, uh, 40 horas, dice ahí. 40 hours, that's what it says. I think that that's... Um, en, en mi certificado dice que fueron 40 horas del primer eh, módulo. Probably, probablemente porque lo toman desde el momento en que ustedes empiezan a enviar su información. Like, eh, toma de documentos, and from that moment, you're part, son parte de eh, inglés corporativo. So that's probably why it says, like, this is eh, tiempo. Mm -hmm. es, otra pregunta, eh, mm -hmm. esos, ese certificado, ¿cuánto tiempo va a estar ahí? Porque no sé si al finalizar el curso con usted, nos van a cerrar la plataforma y ya no vamos a poder 
Y yes, es por eso que eh, no sé si les da la opción de imprimirlo o de, o de sí, descargarlo. Sí, da la impresión sí, da la de imprimirlo. Eh, pero es solo que yo no tengo impresora, tengo que ir a un lugar a que me lo impriman, pero ahorita todavía no puedo porque es como estoy trabajando y no hay ciber acá cerca de, de, de casa, entonces uh -huh. por esa razón pregunto. Para También aquí, te da la opción de descargarlo. Ajá, en ese en caso. PDF. The best option, la mejor opción es que lo descargues, lo guardes en tu teléfono y ya cuando tú tengas tiempo, ¿verdad? Lo puedes ir a. Eh, pero lo mejor sería que lo descargues ya que al terminar el módulo, es decir, el día de ahora, solo se dan tres días hábiles más para que eh, la plataforma siga ahí. Al final de eso, la plataforma se cierra hasta que ustedes inicien module number two. So, para no los sé demás. Que no, podemos, no va a estar ahí como para repasar. No, no, no. No, ya no va a estar ahí. Y este, al abrir el siguiente módulo, eh, ya el progreso que teníamos ahorita ya no va a estar. Ya no va a estar, va a estar solo disponible para nosotros, las personas eh, que estuvimos encargadas, para ustedes ya no. Ese progreso se cierra y se abre un nuevo progreso, es decir, módulo número dos. Uh -huh. Gracias, teacher. All right. Y no so, han dicho tentativamente cuándo comienza, ¿verdad? No, actually, actually, I really don't know. I said that this information, I, I don't have that information, actually. But I think that it can be like something around January. Yes, because most of the people, la mayoría, we're going to vacations on December, right? We have like some part of vacations or something like that. So, probablemente sea in January. Mm -hmm. So, anyone, alguien que haya tenido algún otro problema in the platform, para que lo podamos hacer ahora, chicos, porque el día de ahora es su deadline. Es decir, si alguno todavía está pendiente de algo, please, is the time to hacer preguntas o algo, porque el día de ahora no hay para dónde correr, ¿verdad? Si no ha terminado algo. So everyone is okay with that? Yes? I think that's a yes. Mi coach, yo solo la, lo de la vez pasada que le mandé, que o sea, ponía las respuestas, las tenía correctas, por ende, mm -hmm. y no me las acepta. Igual se lo mandé a otro coordinador, parece. Mm -hmm. And what did he say? Pero ya no me contestó nada. That's weird. Es, es un poco raro porque um, uh, even you were sending me the videos, incluso veía tus videos también over there, but it was kind of difficult to see that. Have you, have you tried or I really, realmente no me recuerdo qué ejercicio era. Eh, El 3.4, si no me equivoco. Quiero ver. Yes, because we need to finish that today. Necesitamos Ajá, terminar. 3. Punto what? 3.4. Okay, let me take some notes right here. So I'm going to send you some information after the class. Okay. 3.4. Exercise. Okay. All right, cool. Anyone else? Alguien más? They're still having any issue? Algún problema? No? No. Yeah. Nobody else. Nadie más. All right. So if nobody else, guys, have any questions or something, es el momento de despedirme, right? So I just want to say um, thank you so much for your patience, for your attendance, por su participación, participation, and everything. Espero que juntos hayamos aprendido like something, espero que hayan aprendido también some information. So for me, it was a really like a pleasure for me. Eso fue un placer para mí estar con ustedes. Eh, and probably nos vamos a ver en un futuro, ¿verdad? So never give up, nunca se den por vencidos. Always pushing yourself, ¿sí? Siempre tratando de hacer lo mejor, eh, estudiando lo más que se pueda para en un futuro 
poder verlos y ya tener una conversación como todos unos americanos, right? Like in gracias, full English. Gracias, profe. Gracias. Right, so, gracias, teacher. Tenemos la esperanza. Gracias, teacher. Tenemos la esperanza. Gracias, Muchas gracias. Por tenernos yeah. paciencia también. No, you're welcome. So, Marisela, you want to say something? No? All right, see that she is. Alba, you want to say something? Sí, buenas noches a todos. Igual, creo que todo el grupo está agradecido. Eh, quiero decirle que ha sido bastante claro. Eh, yo he intentado eh, empezar inglés en otros lugares mm -hmm. y ahorita, a pesar de que ha sido virtual, me he sentido bastante bien. Eh, usted ha sido bastante claro mm -hmm. y pues yo creo que sería muy bueno tenerlo más adelante. Gracias, oye, por enseñarnos mucho, oh, mucho, you're mucho. Welcome. You're welcome. So my pleasure, guys. It's always a pleasure to help you, ¿sí? Ayudarles en lo que se pueda. Probablemente ya no nos volvamos a ver o quién sabe, ya que cada módulo es un maestro diferente. Si nos vemos, pues allá por avanzados o por módulo 3, siempre, ¿verdad? Con todo, ¿sí? And even if I'm not your teacher, incluso si no soy su maestro, but if you have questions, si hay alguna pregunta que ustedes tengan, ask me the questions and I'm going to be there to help you, ¿sí? Vamos a estar ahí siempre para ayudar. Porque esto se trata de ayudarnos unos a otros para que podamos seguir adelante, ¿ok? So, wish you the best of luck. Les deseo la mejor de las suertes a todos. For module number two, enjoy your vacations. Si tienen vacaciones, enjoy it. At the Christmas with your family. Todos en familia, right? So, take care of your family. Care of yourselves, de ustedes mismos. And... Uh, Use mask, right? Usando la mascarilla siempre, right? Because COVID is still there. So uh, thank you so much, guys. That's all for me. That's all I have to say. So, no soy bueno para los adios, verdad? But this is a goodbye, okay? So goodbye, guys. Goodbye, Take care. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bendiciones.